Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another Make It With Me Monday. Give you guys a few minutes to hop on and join me live if that is what you're doing tonight. Um, first thing I'm going to talk about before we get into our card making tonight is the fact that the um, retirement list and color refresh and all of that fun stuff has been announced. So now we know what the deal is. We know that these colors are going to be leaving our collection entirely. Um, these were core colors that were in the main color family, um, color families already. So these colors are on their way out. And starting tomorrow, um, there's going to be several items, many items across the... Hi, Kathy. Good to see you tonight. <coughs> oh my gosh, excuse me. Um, many many things across the uh, retirement list, etc., are going to go on sale. Um, not everything. Uh, but there are a few things that you might be able to pick up at a pretty decent discount. Some of the accessories and things like that, which will be nice. Um, so just to keep in mind that if you have any of these colors, Bermuda Bay, Blushing Bride, Mango Melody, Mary Merlot, Mint Macron, Pacific Point, Pear Pizzazz, Rich Razzleberry, Sahara Sand, So Saffron, and Soft Suede. If you have any of those currently and you do not have an ink refill and you want to keep using these ink pads, Go buy one tomorrow, like right away, right away, right away. <laughs> um, same thing if you want any of the cardstock, uh, if you need backups on any of that kind of stuff. These things, are, these are going to disappear quickly uh, when all of this goes. I know this was a really good Packer color, wasn't it? <laughs> and that's probably like the only reason. I think that and um, once I started using um, my citrus set and some of the other, some DSP that had mango in it, then I really did get a really good use out of mango just in this last year. So yeah, I'm kind of sad to see it go. Um, we have some new colors that'll be coming in, of course, to replace these, some old favorites returning from old in colors. I'm kind of excited to see uh, Pretty Peacock and Lost Lagoon coming back. Um, those will be nice. And there's some really neat neutrals, Pecan Pie coming in. That's a really pretty color. Uh, we have a really nice baby pink color called Bubble Bath that's gonna be headed our way. So there's some really, really nice colors coming. Um, and then also don't forget the outgoing in color collection, um, evergreen, succulent, uh, why am I drawing a blank? Polished pink and papaya. Those will be going for sure. Uh, going, going, gone, so to speak. Fresh Freesia, however, is going to join the permanent color family. So that'll be nice to have that going. I think I have frozen. Well, shoot. I can't tell if I'm still going. Oh, and now I lost with my TV. Okay, well, hopefully, if someone could just sort of throw a comment up there, I lost my connection with my Chromecast, so I can't see my live feed anymore. <laughs> but hopefully, I'm still going live um, on Facebook. If anybody could, Pecan Pie is my new favorite. Okay, I see some comments scrolling through. Okay, so I'm going to be flying blind a little bit here because I won't be able to see along with you guys and I won't be able to comment along. Uh, but we'll get into our project and then I'll check comments afterwards and um, catch you up there. So again, this collection of colors plus the outgoing in colors, evergreen, succulent, papaya, and polished pink will be going away. And that includes anything that has these in it. So the marker packs, the ink refills, uh, the DSP collections that are just the color families. All of that stuff is going to be gone uh, and starting fresh with new uh, new color palette or new color family um, organization and all that kind of stuff. So I am personally very excited about this. I've been through a few of these color refreshes now. Um, I know it can feel a little scary to see such a really big uh, list of retiring items, <laughs> um, but that is because it touches a whole bunch of things across the board. So it, like I said, it looks a little scary, but I promise you guys it's really not that bad. Um, and you are going to love what is coming. I've already had a chance to see, um, I've, I've shared them on my page too, see the new colors that are coming, the new in colors that are coming. And we are going to have some really fun, fun things to play with with that new catalog that comes out in May. Um, so just remember that all starts going on sale tomorrow. You can go to my website and hit the shop now button. And then if you are going to put in an order yourself and you do not, you're not going to spend over 150 and get host benefits for yourself, please include this host code and I will make sure to get you a little something special um, sent to you as well when I use it all to check out with. So, um, all right, let's get into some things. I'm going to be using a lot of retiring product tonight. Um, my stamp sets that I'm going to focus on are mostly 
watercolor shapes. And that one is retiring. And I shouldn't say that I believe good feelings is carrying over. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys um, how really big sentiments will be really big, 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 big. Wow. I'm really tongue tied tonight can make a really big impact on what you have. So, um, so watercolor shapes is going away. And here's another one stitchery that I'll be using on a sample as well. Um, that is one of those that is going to be retiring as well. And I'm using Regency Park designer series paper, which can be found in the mini catalog, which means it's going to be, um, going away at the end of the mini catalog, the end of this month. All right, so let's get to it for tonight. Here is what we've got going on. You want a piece of cardstock that is a five and a half by eight and a half, scored at half at four and a quarter. I'm going to be using Sweet Sorbet. You want a designer series paper piece that's four by five and a quarter, something with kind of a small to medium print. So mine again comes from Regency Park. You want a neutral piece that's three and a half by four. And then another piece of cardstock that is one by four and have a scissor handy. We're going to actually cut that up and use it um, in smaller form, but just one inch is easier to cut than some of those smaller bits. Um, all right. And I want to thank uh, a shout out to Tina Rice, one of my fellow stampers and demonstrator friends um, who came, who demonstrated this idea uh, for a layout. And I borrowed it for Make It With Me Monday tonight. So thank you, Tina. <laughs> uh, here we're going to go ahead and... Find our bone folder. There we go. Score that card stack. Give it a nice, good, crisp fold. Set that aside. You're going to have your three and a half piece. We're going to be doing a landscape card, but your three and a half by four piece is going to need to go in the middle of your designer series paper piece. So make sure you've got the orientation correct before we stamp. You want the four inch to match the four inch here, okay? So you're, it's taller than it is wide, if that makes sense. All right, so like I said, I'm going to be using the Good Feelings stamp set. And I have this phrase here that says, you're on my mind and in my heart. And I'm going to be using Shaded Spruce for that. And I'm taking these colors directly from my designer series paper. So Shaded Spruce and Sweet Sorbet were the colors that are in my DSP. I'm just going to go ahead and put that right in the middle. And you guys grab, oh, hi, hey, Tina, you're live tonight. Yay. <laughs> um, go ahead and grab uh, whatever you brought along for phrases, images, and all that kind of good stuff. And you're going to be decorating up your piece however you chose to do so. Um, like I said, I'm going the opposite kind of of what I usually do, which is um, have a small phrase and big imagery. This time we're going with big imagery or big, big phrase <laughs> and then just highlighting a few things. So I'm going to be using that watercolor shaped oval right there. And I want to highlight a couple of the words in this phrase. This is one of the things I've loved about using watercolor shapes for is adding a little bit of visual interest to what I'm stamping. Okay. So I put one behind the word mind and one behind the word heart. And now that kind of highlights those two particular phrases right there. Words, not phrases, words. Oi, can you tell I'm flustered now that my TV disappeared on me? <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna take that piece, we're gonna add a little bit of cardstock to each side of it. So you're just gonna grab your scissor and cut this approximately in half. It does not have to be perfect um, because you're gonna be hiding that cut line behind your cardstock. So don't worry, I did purposely kind of do it on a funky angle and shape just so that I can tell which is the true straight edge. <laughs> right, Kathy, isn't that kind of neat? I love using watercolor shapes for this. It adds such a neat, um, element of uh, focus and interest. Now, when you guys go ahead and place this down, you get to decide how much or how little you want showing. Okay. You can have a lot or you can have just a little. Okay. But whatever you do to one side, try to repeat for the other side. So again, we're going to run. Oh, guess what? Time to refill. I knew that was going to happen. I thought it was pretty close, but this is just that you get to see then how quick and easy it is to replace your stamp and seal refills. So, so awesome. Okay. Then we're going to take and do the same thing to this side. And again, just make sure the borders are pretty much even on both sides. Okay. All right. Then you're going to grab the rest of your card, bell, card base and your designer series paper. And we are going to go ahead and lay this one down first on our card front. 
And again, if you have a darker card base and you want to have a lighter piece for the inside, that four by five and a quarter size is what you're going to want to repeat in your neutral um, in order to get uh, something on the inside that you can write on or stamp on easily. Okay, so go ahead and add some adhesive to the back of that. Or if you want to, you can absolutely pop that part up. Okay, so this is almost going to look kind of like a panel card where we've got some imagery going or some DSP kind of going on on both sides. Um, if you want, or it can be, um, <clears throat> oops, I guess I sent it off, sent it a little offside. I'm going to leave it just the way it is though, because if I try to pick it up, I'll probably mess it up. <laughs> so I, I did offset it, offset it just a little bit there, but I'm going to live with that one and be okay with it. <laughs> um, so again, Tina, thank you for this layout idea. I absolutely love the way that the DSP kind of shows through, um, as a highlight, as an accent. And then the way we can use this nice panel to show off some really big and bold, either imagery or in my case here, phrases. All right, let's take a look at a couple other samples. And again, I'm going through and I'm using, I used good feelings for everything for my phrasing and the watercolor uh, shapes to highlight some things. And then there's stitchery used on some of them as well. So here's another sample that I've got. <clears throat> so I used the sending sunshine and good feelings your way. And I highlighted the word sunshine with one of those watercolor shapes. That's one of the rectangles. And this is a really kind of fun color combo, mango and shaded spruce with um, in that Regency Park DSP. Now here I did the stitchery on the outside edges of my white panel, and I did it a couple of times. You can see there's like lighter and darker parts of it, okay? This still is from Regency Park. And here I just chose to repeat because the hip hip hooray isn't really that big. I just repeated it as I went down. So I hip hip hooray, hip hip hooray, hip hip parade <laughs> and then I have the matte dots that are from that in color collection right now um, that contains the soft suck or the um, sweet sorbet etc uh, in that particular one okay so that has mostly a navy and a sweet sorbet focus for the colors I took on this one and I used I'm gonna pull it out and show you the really large rectangle I stamped it twice in the middle of the white panel to kind of break up some of that white and give that background a try. Then I used the circle and I stamped the thank you over it and I punched it out. And then instead of using like a ribbon or something across there, I used one of the stitches, the stitched patterns from Stitchery and I just stamped it right across. And again, I added some, some dots. These are done in, these are balmy blue. So this is a balmy blue navy and there's shaded spruce in there as well is my color palette on that one. And this time I changed the orientation around just a little bit. I'm gonna move this guy over here. Here we go. So here again, I used that large rectangle and I put the phrase on top of it. Those two fit so nicely together. I was really happy with how those turned out. I used the um, bow punch in both the uh, petal pink and the balmy blue to get some accents to take care of some of my corners. And I used the black that's in the outline of this to uh, do my highlight. So I have black cardstock there. I have a little black twine and then one of my favorite tricks lately is I just take my black marker and I run it along the edge to create what looks like another layer without adding any kind of bulk, all right? And these petal pink dots come from the same solid faceted gems package that these balmy blue ones did. So that's all in the same collection and I believe those are retiring as well. So there's a lot of retired product going on throughout here. Um, obviously, designer series papers go away, um, but remember that watercolor shape set is going. Um, uh, stitchery is leaving. The DSP is leaving. These particular gems are on their way out. Um, and a big sale on a lot of those items does start tomorrow, so please don't forget about that. If you want to put in an order through me, just send me an email, give me a call, whatever you need to do. If you're going to order on your own, there's my host code. Um, if you want to go to either my website or the Stampin' Up! website and just log in and as a customer and go ahead and place your order. It'll ask you if you have a host code at checkout and you just enter that number right there. It's J64N is in Nancy HC3K. It's a whole bunch of gibberish, <laughs> but that's usually how those host codes go for us. <laughs> All right, let me pull out these guys and I'll show you how I did a little bit of a stepped up version of what I just showed you guys on camera. So I took basically the same concept. I did pop this up instead this time, so that is on dimensionals. And I took my sweet sorbet twine from the, you get the in color pack, so you get all five in color colors in a twine. And then again, there's those gems. So same thing, I still stamped it, 
highlighted it, but then I added some twine and a few gems uh, just to make that a little bit, a um, little bit fancier. <laughs> Um, right, Kathy, I love the idea of that faux black layer. I don't remember how I, I did it on one thing and I was like, well, this is really great because you can add the look of that very finely without adding a lot of bulk to your project. Um, one thing, oh, speaking of the marker though, I do want to point out in case it's not obvious necessarily when you see the new catalog, but you'll notice that all the markers, um, have retired because they re, um, they redesigned them. So if you have the blends, you'll know what I'm talking about. And so the blends come with a brush tip and then kind of like a, a ballpoint tip more like on the end. I can't remember what they kind of particularly call that. But the new Stampin' Write markers are going to be designed the same way. So you'll have a brush tip and then you'll have a more of a ball bulb type tip as opposed to what we have now, which tends to kind of fade out quickly, not work quite as well. And I'm really excited for this new change in the marker style. I think it's gonna really help us when we wanna actually just write with them in a fine line. I'm so excited to see that coming back that way. Uh, so I think, oops, sorry about the shaking guys. I stood up to just check on how my status is going there and I bumped the corner. All right, let me lay these back out again. I know that was a lot of information to take in at the beginning. So if you have any questions at all, the retirement list, all that kind of good stuff is on the Facebook page. Um, for you to peruse and see what you need. Let me just move this down a tiny bit. Okay, let go. There we go. So there is the Facebook page. If you're not already a fan there, please go ahead and hop mm -hmm. over there and follow that so you have all the most current information from me. Um, I will be sending out a newsletter tonight for those of you who are on my mailing list. Um, so you have those lists again right at your fingertips um, to see what's retiring, what's carrying over, all the different changing stuff. And I'll have the co-host code in there as well in case you decide you want to take advantage of those sale items right away tomorrow. Um, again, with those retiring colors, if you want to keep using them, grab that ink refill, grab that cardstock, do it all ASAP. I promise you guys this stuff is going to disappear really, really fast. All right, I think that does everything for me, guys, tonight. I hope you enjoyed this layout. Again, super quick and easy, and thank you, Tina, for sharing that with me and letting me share that with everybody else. <laughs> All right, have a great rest of your week, everybody. Happy Easter to those of you who celebrate. Enjoy what we have coming, starting to look like spring. I, own, I can look out my windows now and not see snow, which is awesome. Um, so hopefully a little bit of warm weather is to follow. <laughs> everybody have an awesome week, and I will see you again next Monday. Take care.